I'm Jay Juan, and I go by Sinatra in game. I play for the San Francisco Shock as a DPS. Uh, I'm 18, and I come from Seattle, Washington. That was really fun, and the weather is insane. It's really good. Rain every day. I hate LA weather. It's just hot, 90 degrees. I love rain every day, and thunderstorms and stuff. I love that every day. <laughs> My life was basically wake up early, which I never have to do again, like at seven, go to school. My favorite subject was probably, um, damn, Spanish. <laughs> no, not Spanish, actually. Band. <laughs> Be bad. <laughs> this is the easiest day of my life, and I played the clarinet. I played baseball. Uh, I was gonna be a varsity. I mean, I was talking to the coach and stuff. I was obviously gonna be varsity. I was gonna be starting second baseman because we had a really good shortstop. But I dropped out so I can play. No tanks remaining after the EMP. They focus them down purposely. Paul's got Sinatra's getting all the goods. Bichu down. He'll get another one. And of course, he'll spray it. When Overwatch came out, I was heavily into Counter Strike at the time. Counter Strike is like a game where you hold angles the whole time. But I have like ADHD, so I want to be moving all the time. So when I saw Overwatch come out and I saw the like Tracer, the character, I literally just spammed her in every game and I just like blinked everywhere, going to the spawn. So that's what like caught my attention. And then when season two came out and I got ranked uh, two in season two, that's when I like realized like, okay, I can definitely go pro. After a bidding war, he just signed with the San Francisco Shock for $150,000 a season. Oh, Mr. 150K? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it kind of sucks because I'm like the only player in Overwatch League that has a league salary. And everyone thinks like, that I have the biggest salary in Overwatch League, which I don't. So like before I came into the Overwatch League, everyone had an unreal expectation of me. Like, oh, he's going to come in and just 1v6 everybody and carry the team and go like 20 and 0. So uh, I think it just put me at like a disadvantage. It got me really nervous. Like I felt like I had to perform. Coming out of the San Francisco shock, there he is, the man himself. Mr. 150K. A big debut for Sinatra today. Will they get the win or will Florida play spoiler? We're about to find out. I had so much pressure building up and like expectation of me. I started to get like really nervous for some reason. And then walking up on that stage and then sitting down, I was like literally, literally shaking on my desk. Like, God, I have to like actually like carry. Toby prompted to switch to the Anna. Gino going for the dupe. It's just hoping to get back in this fight fast enough, but denied Sinatra with two. Season one for me, honestly, was like um, it was like a building block for season two because I, I wanted to learn a lot about Overwatch League and what it's about and like gain confidence and not always be like nervous on stage. So I, I think I did that pretty well because towards the end I was getting really comfortable with everything, the fans, the stage, everything. Now the stick comes in from Sinatra, gets OGE. Pictures chunk down. I guess the dragons are getting some of their own medicine fed back to them. Oh, <laughs> Sinatra! I have Snapchat, so I always look at my like friend's story and like what they're doing right now. Like everybody's graduating high school, and I always think about like, damn, it would be it would be like kind of fun if I was like doing those events with them right now, like baseball, graduating high school. Prom was one of them too. That one I felt bad about. So I, I think about that like in that sense. But my friends definitely like go hard into what I do. They definitely support me hard, and they think it's really cool. So I think they think I did fine.